Hi guys, it's Brianna and today I'm going to be filming a Brianna Talks video. I asked you guys to not be afraid to come up to me if you need any advice with anything and then post videos on Wednesdays. Another person has reached out to me and she's actually one of my friends at my school. She did say it was okay if I named her, but because other people from my school watch my videos and they may know her, um, I'm just gonna go ahead and keep her anonymous. So my friend has texted me a lot of things and I kind of narrowed it down into a few bullet points of what's been going on so I can explain it a little better to you guys. She came to me and told me that she was dating a really popular boy who also goes to our school and she told me that she was scared of him leaving her basically for a better looking girl she actually shared with me basically she told me that she had been um, molested when she was younger um, I don't like the word raped so I'm not going to use that and that person called her ugly and gross and disgusting. She's told me that she thinks of breaking up with him sometimes to either save herself from hurt or because she's scared that he is going to leave her for a better looking girl. And she says that he calls her beautiful and compliments her all the time. She just is having a hard time believing that. First, I'm going to say anybody who has to grow up being molested by someone is going to be insecure for many reasons from personal experience i have trust issues um my dad hasn't always been there for me to where i don't really trust i don't put my trust in others that easily that's a problem that i have so i completely relate to like having trust issues and having insecurities. There's not one person out there unless you are highly conceited that thinks that they're perfect and that thinks that everything on them is the way they want it, physically and mentally. You're gonna come across boys that aren't the one. You're going to experiment, especially in high school. You're going to you know test the waters with different types of guys and not every single boy is going to be perfect nobody shows their true colors in the beginning of a relationship um it's always just let me put my best foot forward for that person to kind of convince them to be like hey i like this person i want to be with them um, I've been with my boyfriend for a year and two months now, so we've been through our ups and downs, definitely. And um, I know him like the back of my hand, he knows me like the back of his hand. So I definitely feel like it takes a while to really see what that person is going to be like um, and show their true self to you. While it's going on right now, the compliments are meaningful. I feel like you can tell. When someone means a compliment, when someone truly thinks, oh my goodness, you're so beautiful, or you're pretty, or, you know, I love this about you, I love your eyes, those type of things, you can definitely tell whether someone is being truthful or not, then I think you should embrace that. Um, as far as worrying about if he's going to leave you, if he wants to leave you, he will. Like I said, no relationship in high school is going to be like 100%. No relationship period is ever 100%, you know, just happy and giggles. So as for girls being pretty, um, I feel like there's always other girls out there that are going to be prettier than you. There's always going to be someone out there that has more money than you, that has better clothes than you. And I believe there's a J. Cole song that actually says all this. In all seriousness, there's always going to be someone that's prettier than you or someone that's not as good looking as you and all of those little instagram posts that you see it's like a picture of maybe a couple that isn't so good looking to society and the caption will be like but i can't even like find a boyfriend or i can't even like get a text back or something like that and like this video if you know what i'm talking about because those pictures 
are everywhere that I see. Those kind of pictures really just represent like how society looks at like girls and boys. Like if you're ugly, you're not supposed to be in a relationship. Like that's not how it works. Everybody's vision of pretty is different in a guy's eyes and in a girl's eyes. A guy may think, you know, a girl that's not so attractive to other people is attractive to him because that's his type. But just because she isn't pretty in someone else's eyes doesn't mean she shouldn't like be in a relationship. And over time, I've learned to trust that in my boyfriend and in my relationship, he loves me for me and for who I am and for my personality and my looks. And there are other people out there that love different people, that it's not all based off of who's an Instagram baddie and who's and who isn't. The last thing I want to cover before I end this video is how she told me that she was going to or she thinks of breaking up with him. I definitely can see where she's coming from when she says that because or if I ever liked a boy and I thought that he would stop liking me, I would kind of be like, okay, like who said I even liked you and just brush it off like I never had any feelings. That's not the way to go about it. I feel like you should make it last as long as it'll last. If the flame dies out, then the flame dies out. But just because you're scared of a consequence or something that may possibly happen doesn't mean that you should stop. You shouldn't really hold back and try and play it safe all the time because you never know what's going to happen. Um, I think you should just wait it out and see how things go and if they don't work out, they don't work out. You don't even have to share that with people if you guys do end up, you know, cutting it off. You could just say it was a mutual agreement, we just thought that it didn't work out. Just if you think he truly means what he says when he calls you beautiful, you never know. In his eyes, you may be the most beautiful girl in the world. So don't think that because in your eyes, you're not prettier than some of the other girls in this world that you're not good enough for him just because he's a popular boy. So that's pretty much my advice that I have to give on this topic. And again, I thank my friends so much for supporting my YouTube channel and watching all of my videos. So that really means a lot to me. And um, that's all I have for this video today. Um, comment down below any other videos that you guys want to see on hair or makeup or random topics or challenges. Anything that you guys want to see. And I will definitely get to making those videos. Like this video, give it a thumbs up, and subscribe to my channel. And I will talk to you guys next time. Bye!